Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit this photo. I will start from the glasses and uh, the effect on the glasses, how we achieve this uh, editing on the glasses. Uh, this uh, tutorial was requested by Abirun Isaac. He is a subscriber and a top fan of Salami photography. So if there's a particular uh, problem you are facing on your retouching, you can let us know so we can tackle that on this channel ASAP. Uh, we no further ado, let's get started. You can see what I just did. I made a selection using the quick selection tool. Uh, let me deselect and start from afresh. You select the quick selection tool or use any of your favorite selection method. If you are not familiar with the pen tool, if I think the channel will need a full tutorial on that. Uh, the quick selection tool is very good at uh, finding the edges of your selection. So if you just click like this, it will automatically find age and select it for you. And easy like this, we have made a selection where we want to change the color. So after making this selection, you come to your adjustment layer down here, or depending on how your Photoshop is arranged. If your Photoshop is not arranged like this, I have photographer, you just come to your windows, walk, space, and select the photography. And if it's already on the photograph, but it's still not looking like this, click on reset photography as you come to us uh, an interface that is very similar to this so come down here to your adjustment and select the solid color adjustment layer choose any color you desire for this i'm going to use red so that to match exactly what you are seeing or what you saw on the thumbnail now click on ok and that's it for that portion you can also make other fine adjustments like if the selection is not okay at any point you can use a brush or any other uh, selection method you are familiar with to make that adjustment. But we are not going to waste our time on that in this video. The next thing we are going to do is to make a selection of glasses. That's it. That is this portion here. I'm going to make a selection of it. What are we going to use? We are still going to use the quick selection tool. Just click on this area like this and the selection is made automatically. And then you come to adjustment once more. And now you create a curves adjustment. And then you bring down the brightness like this. This is the midpoint. Create a point at the midpoint and you drag it down like this until you are okay. Uh, what I'm looking for in this image is just for the eye to stop showing. I don't want the eye to appear. That's just exactly what I wanted to do. And at that point, you are okay with it. And then you leave it. And you can see that the glasses is looking very, very rough. And we have to like retouch it to bring out the beauty and give it an even look. How do we do that? We are going to use a method that I am very familiar with and is very, very easy. So you create a stamp visible layer using Ctrl, Shift, or Alt E. And then you duplicate this layer. We name the top layer Texture. <laughs> And then name the bottom layer color. We are going to be smoothing this out and then using a very uh witty approach. And you have to see that very soon. But we don't want to remove the whole texture from it. So to preserve a little bit of the texture, we are going to be doing frequency separation. The very basic frequency separation. So you turn off the texture layer, content color layer, put your filter. Blow, Gaussian blow, set the blur rate to 1.5 and click for OK. Now, come to the texture layer, go to image, apply image. And if your image is a, it's an 8 bit image, you're going to be using a similar adjustment as I'm going to use in this apply image dialogs here. So, for the layer, you choose the color layer. Make sure the blending mode is on subtract. Scale should be two offset to be 128. And make sure the invert is not checked. Preserve transparency is not checked. Max is not checked. Preview is checked. Now click on OK. Change blend mode to linear light. And then that's it. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to work on the color layer. Uh, take your mix brush for this particular one. Uh, use your mixer brush and then make sure your mixer brush is clean. If it's not clean, make sure you check this 
clean the brush after each stroke. And come down here and select clean brush. You can use a similar setting or any other one you're comfortable with. It doesn't matter. It just uh, affect the country you're going to get. And uh, you can start from these particular settings down here. The next thing you're going to do now is to uh, brush over. Let me turn off the texture so that we see exactly the work that's going on here. We're going to darken this portion. Let me show you what you're going to achieve. Here's yeah, exactly what you are trying to achieve. So you just brush here. You mix the dark portion together and then you mix the light portion together. As easy as this. Uh, you're going to take note of the edges. You're not going to overdo it so that you don't bleed into the edges. But if you, if you do, you can easily max it out using your favorite max method. So, we are just going to keep our brushing on this particular level down here. So, you mix it like this. You do it for this portion, you do the same thing for this other side of the glasses. Once you understand the basic principle, you can just do exactly what is necessary for your own image. Because uh, most of you are going to encounter this using your own image if you shoot a similar concept or if you need. Uh, this is also very good for fabrics. If your fabric is squeezed, you do different conservation and use very similar method to even and blend it out. If you want a more detailed video or video on that, let me know in the comment section right now. If you haven't liked this video already, please like this video so that other creative can come across it as well. And then you turn on the texture layer and you can see. If there's any other thing you want to remove, you can use the spot healing brush to, to remove it. If it's in on the cut layer, if it's on the texture layer, same thing. You can easily remove those blemishes. As simple as that. So, you can see how very similar the two things are right now. Yeah, done with this. We are going to continue your editing. Look at this uh, final image. You can see that a whole lot of work went into it. You can see all the layers we used here. If I'm going to go into explaining all the action and creating it from scratch, it's going to take over three hours to explain. Not that it took me just to edit, but to explain it and uh, create it from scratch is going to take a very, very long time. Which I don't think is necessary for this tutorial. And if I have to use the action to actually edit it and you don't already have it, then it's as useless as um you would be able to apply it. So if you need the slam me with touch back, uh, you can see the link in the description right to me direct on Instagram. I will get into business. And also if you want a one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can let me know right now on Instagram, DM me on Instagram. If you want me to help retouch your images at a very, very affordable price, like a big photographer or an upcoming photographer or you have a hand to shoot and you're not very sure of your editing skill, you can start with Islami retouching services. We offer high-end retouching at very, very affordable price. And you can slide into my DM and let's get into business. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel right now. If there's any question you have, you can let me know in the comment section right now. Uh, happy to be part of your journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.